you just don't remember when you came across Hokusai's work, but it's always there, you remember it. You feel like you knew this work since you were born. <laughs> My name is Hiroko Imada. I am a Japanese artist living and working in London for the last 30 years. I initially studied Japanese woodblock printmaking in Japan. Then I came to this country to study printmaking further. Japanese woodblock printing for us is almost very natural to be with because we actually learned when we are the primary school student. Everybody knows very basic of how to do it. In Hokusai's period, which is such a long time ago, the Japanese woodblock printing wasn't treated as a piece of art. It was more like a photography of the newspaper or magazine. They worked as a group. You had a publisher to decide the subject. You also have the people who actually design that would be called now artist. Then also printer, uh, cover printer. Now, uh, as an artist, it's really, really difficult to get to the standard of that Edo period. My inspiration mainly comes from the nature, always trying to capture the moment in abstract format. When it comes to my own work, it's very spontaneous, and also if it's planned too much, uh, you lose the flow of the line. In terms of the printmaking, you start off designing the block, so I start to research about the nature, probably taking lots of photographies. When you come at home and do the original drawing, very roughly, this is then transferred onto the tracing paper. Then I paste it down to the block and you can actually cut through the paper. When it's all carved, you print with the ink. Hokusai is just so popular in Japan as well as all over the world. It's almost like you just don't remember when you came across Hokusai's work, but it's always there. You feel like you knew this work since you were born. <laughs> I think Hokusai's work has everything in it. The dynamism, simplicity and boldness. Most of his work isn't huge, especially the prints. Within that scale, you can see everything. Hokusai lived incredibly long life, but nowadays that's quite normal that people live up to that age. I always say myself, maybe my career will probably start at the age of 60 or over, so I don't need to rush. Just do it one step, uh, step by step, and then I should be able to probably work up to 90 or 100, hopefully. <laughs> I think artist has no retirement age in a way.